Oh. That's not a good thing to open on. <laughs> High def. He's filing his. Okay, that's pretty neat. Good, good visual gag. It's <laughs> all in the wrist. You know, I just wish that someone made a game where you, you drive a motorbike around. It doesn't have to be biker mice, but you drive a motorbike around and you do sick shit on the motorbike, you know? I mean, we've got cyborg ninja shit at the moment where you do cool shit like wall run and jump around and stuff. So, you know, I feel like it could be done. I found out that the voice of um, Throttle is also the voice of Donatello and was it Raphael or Leonardo in several different seasons. He's a very famous voice actor. Also, just to blow your mind further, Modo is like a famous 70s actor who's voice acting him did a load of famous shit and Vinny is being played by the guy who then became the hero in Sharknado he's trying to just leave So when people say that Biker Mice was really low effort and a cash grab of Mutant Ninja Turtles... <laughs> this box... Why are they fighting in an Amazon warehouse? <laughs> what? He likes this style because they fire rockets wildly. Who is this guy? They're introducing a new character for this. Why is he doing a bad Oh, he's got a concussion. Now he's got another concussion. Where's his hat gone? Why is ZZ Top fighting them? <laughs> I love how they're like, yeah, these guys are cool, they're helping us, and then they start pulling out guns and they're like, killing our enemies, that would be harsh, after shooting them for a whole season and blowing up their building. How did they not know that their lasers were as ineffective as their own, you know, like... Yeah, he was wearing a helmet and they twatted him around the head. Do you think, like, surely his helmet should have taken most of the hit? Infrared tire track readers? What? So they're going to Detroit, 
to fight a rival gang who just showed up to shoot some guys for no reason. Why are they even bringing Charlie? Like, they never do anything with her character. It's really disappointing. She's only ever there as, like, random backup or damsel in distress. <laughs> why was he... Why was he on his side of the desk anyway? Why is there a cat? Why can't he see? So this Elmer Fudd stand-in is like, wow. Kind of looks like James Woods. <laughs> He's got a fish in his pocket. Look at that frame again. He had a fish in his pocket. <laughs> Why is with this framing? That was terrible framing. And he like saw half his. Oh, what is wrong with Charlie's face? They're, oh, it was so warped. Oh, they, the angles. <laughs> They all so close. Well, they're they I'm sorry, so they're in Chicago, they took the bridge to Canada and they're trying to go to Detroit. This is fucking with my lack of American joke. So basically, to make you feel like biker mice do fucking nothing, it basically says, hey guys, every major American city has a Plutarchian just causing problems, and they're just stuck in Chicago most of the time. How would you do it? This is the plot to Crash Team Racing. Just gonna throw that out there. So this guy's called Bree. What? How does he blow? I mean, that would be the ultimate p camera pullback, wouldn't it? That you think, oh wow, the biker mice are dealing with the only problem, and then the camera pulls back, and every city has a Limburger stand in. Poor 
holy and breathe. Of course. what you do in Chicago, and let's face it, if it's a Plutarchian, they'll spend two seasons ignoring him and barely doing anything to stop him. They're not exactly effective at removing the main villain. Seriously, why is a member of ZZ Top here? What? Why? So, so they just decided to make... <laughs> this is really trying to push the playset for every single episode, isn't it? Like, Demolition Derby Mice, Quad Bike Mice. The Nubs. You've had so much time to pull over or put the handbrake on. <laughs> there goes Grease Pit, jobbing as per. <laughs> Poor Grease Pit. I feel more and more sorry for Grease Pit as the seasons go by, because <laughs> he just gets jobbed out real early. This guy looks like Steven Seagal. <laughs> it's almost like they're in collusion with Limburger after a while, isn't it? Because you're just sat there like... They defend the turf that he's on and then still don't dethrone him. made the joke. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. Like, what is the gain in you defending one turf from Plutarch? Like, you don't know if this Plutarchian is easier to get rid of than Limburger. That guy's got a horrible flat nose.
That's dumb. I literally thought when that guy pulled up, he said, sup, bitch. And I was like, what? <laughs> No one ever blinks at the fact that there's two, there's three seven foot tall ripped mice with no shirts on. That's just fighting them on and wrecking them. But there are no rules, you can just blow everything up afterwards and say, oh, I won anyway. Yeah. Lol. Thrilled. <laughs> how do you how do you know that was your team that got wrecked there? <laughs> it's just got a fucking stinger. Like, like he has any chance of getting rid of the biker mice any more than the biker mice have a chance of getting rid of Limburger. Like, the twist would be great if that at some point they just completely accidentally just blow up Limburger and Limburger's just dead and he never makes a return and then the next season it's something completely different. There are so many. There are so many jokes where people get pantsed. Like in season one, there. What happened to Greasebit's face? There, that would look horrible. <laughs> Lol. Do they just all really like baseball? It's not really touched upon much, it's just that they hang out there sometimes. And then they don't. And then they hang out at Charlie's place. See? Dorian Gracewood is Moto. Famous people voice acting all these people, man. Uh, let's go on to the next one. 